Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I'm excited to show this one. I finally got this done. I made this mold. It is available in my eBay store. And not only are you getting this huge starfish, but you're getting five other things because I didn't want to waste so much silicone. So I decided to put a whole bunch of sea creatures in here for you. Now this is heavy. It weighs like 36 ounces something like that 32 ounces so it is a big heavy mold you're going to get the big starfish in the center which holds it looks huge it holds four and a half ounces and then a small stingray here a small turtle here and then the seashells that i always use for magnets which look like these i will show you since i have some handy i'm waiting to put magnets on the back so you're going to get one each of these little seashells so you can make magnets too if you have extra. So it's a six in one mold and I will link it in the description if you're interested in it. So today I'm thinking what can I do different? I don't want to just throw a colored resin in there or a glitter in there. And I'm looking through all my drawers and I found all these little flowers that I have had for probably two years maybe a year and a half. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I will make a flower starfish. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do this in two pours because I don't want the flowers to float. So I'm going to pour two ounces in. I'm gonna place all my flowers where I want them, let it cure, pop it in my curing machine so I don't have to wait very long, and then pour the other half Maybe I'll put some sparkle in it. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put sparkle in all of it. But I will think about that. Let me get two ounces mixed up. All right, I've got my resin mixed up. I've only mixed up two ounces because that's all that's gonna fit in there. I've got my flowers picked out. I'm going to dunk, dunk the big one in the resin first to hopefully avoid bubbles. Although, being a sea creature, I don't really mind bubbles. The rest of them, I should think they should be okay, so I'm just going to pour it in. I did run it through my bubble remover, and I'm using my pump resin because it's not quite as thick as my 4-hour cure. Just remember to put everything upside down. And then just place them where you want them. And let's see. I just want to get this situated. They shouldn't move. I'm going to torch my bubbles that I do see. And I'm just going to start putting them. I'll get them under as soon as I get them in. I'm just kind of going large, medium to small. And there's a little piece of hair in there. And Hopefully the colors will remain pretty much intact. I don't know. I haven't used these flowers in resin before, but they are soaking up the resin, so I don't know how they're going to look after the fact. Now I know these little rhinestones are going to probably disappear or they're going to look like mirrors in the resin. They definitely will not look like rhinestones in the resin. I do know that for a fact. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of babysit these for the next hour or so. See if they move 
anywhere. And then all I'm going to do is pour either clear or sparkle. I'm not sure what yet what I'm going to do. So I have a couple hours to think about that. Okay, I will return. Time to demold. And I ended up filling one more in because I was working on another project, so I had some clear. So I put in a little glitter and put that in this seashell. So we will get these little ones out first. And there is the seashell. There's a bunch of ribs in there. I know you can't probably see because of the white. And let's see, we'll do the stingray. The wings are up underneath, so you will have to pull one side out at a time. Oh, that is pretty. I hope my starfish came out this nice. I'm not sure what to expect. All right, how about the turtle? What is that? His little head is down in there. Ooh, he came out cute. I'll just color in his little eyes. And you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can paint him up if you want to, but I'll definitely touch his eyes up. Okay, not sure how this is gonna work. I know there's gonna be a line in the middle because of the clear and then the glitter, so we'll see. Are we ready? Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I like that. You can't even tell there's a line. I don't see any bubbles. Now, the colors are a little, I don't know, pastel, more pastel than they were. I knew this one was going to look like a mirror because of the rhinestone. So I tried to pick ones with beads, but not all of them had beads. <laughs> but you can see a little bubble that formed in each bead. What do you think? I think it's really pretty. A little out of the ordinary. I know you're not going to see a flowery starfish in the wild, but I love it. It doesn't even really need any trimming. It's perfectly flat on the back. There's nothing wrong. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I hope you guys like this mold. I will link it below if you're interested in it. You will get all these little guys. You don't have to do glitter. You can do whatever you want. I have to just live up to my name. All right, I will get you some finishing pictures so you can see it without my messy background. And thank you all for coming in today and joining me and checking out my new stuff and hanging out with me for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you all have a blessed day. All right, bye.